Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Josh Josh Sweet. Most happy to be joining you guys for another edition of NBA Player Prop Parlays here on the Guy Boston Sports YouTube channel. Hope you guys are enjoying your Saturday thus far. Hope you guys are getting ready for Halloween weekend. If you guys are celebrating, going out, having a good time, I'm obviously wearing a part of my costume for the weekend. Um, obviously, it's not a lot to go off of a cowboy hat and sunglasses. We're going a little southern uh, for Halloween. But if you can guess who I am, I'm playing a character from a TV show. If you can guess, we'll give you guys a little a little reward. So sound off in the comments who you think I am uh, for Halloween. Like I said, it, just to give you a little hint, he is from a TV show. So that's the only hint I'm going to give you. And obviously the cowboy hat and the sunglasses. Um, but guys, hope you guys will be safe. Have a good time this weekend. But we got some picks to share today, so let's get into it. Guys, before we get into the picks, real quick, just to recap what happened. I didn't have a video yesterday, but I did have a video on Thursday. We had two or three legs hit, unfortunately. This new rule in the NBA where players, it's like the anti-load management rule where players have to play a certain number of games. The the teams are finding loopholes, and now it's it seems like we have seen it a couple times already where they're giving they're playing players, but they're resting them. So, you know, Chris Middleton, we had him over 19.5 points, rebounds, assists. He played 16 minutes in the first half, and they sat him the entire second half. <clears throat> no reported injury, nothing. Just sat him for rest reasons and minutes restrictions. And kind of crazy that we have minutes restrictions in the first game of the season. This is why basketball, this is the biggest problem with basketball. It's the reason why some a lot of people don't like it is because of the things like this. Like, it's the first game of the season, and we got a guy resting, only playing 15 minutes. Um, it sucks, especially for betters, because you never know who's resting, who's not. I had a prop bet. I didn't have a video for it. The first game of the year with the Lakers, you know, LeBron only got limited to 29 minutes. Um, had he played even two more minutes, I just needed one more point from him. So, a little frustrating. We're going to have to be a little strategic, a little cautious um, when these things happen. But, uh, so yeah, we didn't hit. That's all right, though. On to a new day. We got a new parlay today. Like always, I typically use DraftKings. Uh, for my parlay, just because of the region I live in, it's the most easy to use. Um, you guys obviously can shop around, find better odds if you can. But just to re remind you guys, my, I'm getting the odds, and I am using the DraftKings Sportsbook. So, without further ado, let's get into the parlay today. All right, guys, we got a little four-leg parlay today to celebrate Halloween weekend. We're going a little little crazier, a little scarier. we got four legs today in the parlay. First leg, we got Marcus Smart over two and a half rebounds. Memphis Grizzlies versus the Washington Wizards. Those odds at DraftKings are currently at minus 165. Now, Marcus Smart did not have any rebounds in the season opener for Memphis. That's that's an anomaly, though. His career average is three and a half. Um, I think Washington is a team that we've kind of we kind of got we had a good idea what they were right in the preseason, and they kind of already in the first game proved that they're a team that they're not going to play a lot of defense. Uh, they're going to take a lot of shots. They're not going to make all of them. They're going to they're going to miss quite a few shots, and that leads to more rebounds. I think Marcus Smart to get three rebounds, which is actually a little bit less. Than his career average, I think it's a pretty safe bet. There's no way he goes two games in a row uh, with zero or or less than two rebounds. He Marcus Smart, he's a physical guy, he's a gritty guy, he's gonna grab his boards. So Marcus Smart over two and a half rebounds. That is not the only leg in this game though. This Grizzlies Wizards game. I am also going Desmond Bain over 25 and a half points, um, minus 120 odds here. Now Desmond Bain, he hit this number already once this year. He had 31 points in the Grizzlies season opening victory. Um, his his average last year was 21 and a half points, so this is a little above his average. But the thing is, right now with John Moran out serving his 25 game suspension, Desmond Bain is the top offensive option in this for this Grizzlies team. He is their go to scorer right now, and he proved that in the first game. 31 points until John Moran comes back. That is going to be the case. And you're playing a Wizards team like I just mentioned before. Not a very good defensive team, right? They gave up 143 points to the Pacers in the season opener. And, I, and although I like Indiana, they're a fun team. They're a gritty team. They're not exactly an offensive juggernaut. Um, and so I think Memphis, you know, I, I think, think Desmond Bain will get his. He's obviously the go-to option. Playing against, against a not-so-great team, team with no defense. I think 26 points is not a lot to ask for him. Um, I think he's going to average somewhere around 24, probably until Ja comes back. Um, so I'm, I think 26 points against this Wizards team, you know, not that crazy. Who's going to guard him? It's, you know, Jordan Poole. He's not really a defensive guy. I don't really know who on the Wizards are going to take care of him. So Desmond Bain, over 25 and a half points. So we have two legs coming um, from this Grizzlies game. I like these two picks a lot, guys. All right, moving right along here, guys. Third leg of our four-leg parlay. We got Jonas Valanciunas, over 11 and a half points. We got Pelicans versus Knicks. Uh, minus 130 odds here. Now, look, again, he already hit this number in this first game. He had 12 points. So that's all we need him to do again is hit 12 points. His career average is 13 and a half. Um, Valencia Yunus, you know what you get from him. He's not going to go off crazy, but he averages his career average 13 and a half. He averaged 14 points per game last season. Um, 
I think it's a pretty good number to hit. The Knicks are going to be too busy taking care of Zion, who's actually playing. And I think Valencia Unis feeds off of that. He'll get the open looks. Um, this is kind of a safe bet, minus 130. I like this a lot. You're not asking Valencia Unis to do too much. You know he's going to play his minutes. You don't have to worry about him on a minutes restriction or anything like that. Um, I think 11.5 points, pretty simple bet, pretty safe too. Like I said, the, all we're asking him to do is come close to what his career average is and come close to what he averaged last season, um, which I think he will. This Knicks team defensively, I don't think they're going to have the chops to take care of him and Zion. They don't have a ton of size on this Knicks team. Randall and uh, Mitchell Robinson, they're okay, um, but I think Valencia Unis will be able to get his points here. So Valencia Unis over 11.5 points. It's the third leg of this four-leg parlay. Guys, before we get into the final, the fourth and final leg of the parlay here, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We love all the, all the feedback, all the community that we've built here, and all you guys liking, commenting, giving us your opinions, whether you're fading us, whether you're tailing us. Make sure to subscribe. We're trying to get to 40,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're getting close, um, but we need your help to get there. So, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. All right, guys, last leg of our four-leg parlay. We've got the riskiest part of this parlay, in my opinion, but I, I like it a lot. I think he's going to have a good game today. We've got Cavs, Pacers, Evan Mobley, over 25.5 points and rebounds. Now, he had a little bit of a quiet game first game. I think he's going to open up a little bit more here today. Evan Mobley is one of the best young players in the league. I know there's been some criticism towards him. Obviously, that playoff series loss to the Knicks put a little damage on their reputation. Um, I'm not really too concerned about it. I think Evan Mobley is going to have a good game. 25.5 points. Plus rebounds, you get that at minus 120 odds on DraftKings. Now, he averaged 16 points and 9 rebounds per game last season, which is about 25. So, you know, his average would his average from last year is right about where we need him to be a little bit better. I think Evan Mobley's going to have a better year. I think he's going to take the next step in his progression of being a superstar. Um, and I do think this is a good matchup for him. 25 and a half. I know coming off his first game, he didn't do too much. I think he had like 10 points and 6 boards. Not exactly the, the best effort from him. I'm not too concerned, though. 25.5 points plus rebounds. You bet your star players, you know when they're going to have a good game. I don't think he's going to have two quiet games in a row. Give me Evan Mobley here over 25.5 points plus rebounds. And, guys, when you put all of those picks together, you get a parlay with plus 7-10 odds. I know there's a four-leg parlay, so obviously the odds are going to be a little higher. Uh, plus 7-10, I like this a lot. you got a lot of bets that all you need these guys to do is just have an average performance. Really, in definition, you need them to be average. Some guys like Mobley and Bain need a little bit more out of them, but they are better players. I expect that from guys like Smart and Valencia Units. Just hit your averages and we're good. Um, we're still looking at that first hit of the year. I, I think, think this, this is going to be the one, guys. Guys, have a happy Halloween weekend. Have fun. Just make sure be safe, right? If you're going to be drinking, make sure you have a plan in place. Don't drive drunk. Uh, just irresponsible. It's dangerous, and it ruins a good time. You know, don't don't let one one weekend of fun result in a lifetime of, of bad mistakes, right? If you you know you don't want to get in an accident or something, God forbid, something happens to anyone else. Not to get dark here, but just be safe, be responsible, have a good time. All right, guys, I will see you all tomorrow with another NBA player prop parlay video. Until then, I hope you are all winners. Have a good one. Enjoy the weekend.